Animal physiology for sure again and it's an institute which is concerned with animal biotechnology microbiology diseases animal biotechnology bioenergetics molecular techniques which is again a very important topic and genetics right have a nice day Sharma and welcome back to my YouTube channel which is Bio Library. So all the people who are new here, hi, I am Manisha Sharma. I have recently started this YouTube channel in order to guide my fellow aspirants, my fellow friends about the entire process and the entire road to the PhD as well as the other higher science education exams like assistant professor exam, how to become an assistant professor, how to ace an interview, how to perform well in a PhD interview, how to approach a guide, how to think about an SOP, how to write an SOP and many more, right? So in this video, as I stated previously that this video is part two of, you must have watched it in the thumbnail that this is the part two of NII procedure video, right? So here we'll be talking about how to go about the written exam of NII. As you all know, National Institute of Immunology, the entire process and the entire road to NII is div divided into three phases. First, you apply for the program about which I dealt in the previous video that what are the respective dates, who are eligible candidates, how can you apply for the same, right? Second is qualifying the written exam so before qualifying you must know what is the syllabus of the written exam how the written exam is that is the pattern of the exam as well as what should be your you know strategy to go about the exam to ace the exam and the third one and the final one is interview so let me tell you here only let me reveal the fact that the interview process of nii is divided into two phases right there are two rounds of interview for nii I gave the exam in 2019. I qualified the written exam. I was called up after the interview to join as a project trainee, not at, as a PhD fellow. That is because NII basically is concerned for animal sciences, right? It is immunology uh, institute, but I am a plant science postgraduate. Not that I could not choose animal sciences as my PhD. I definitely could, but I myself wanted to do PhD in the field of plant sciences right so i got a call therefore i find as well as i think i'm eligible enough to impart you the information which is authentic because i myself have gone through the entire process right so let's start first thing first let me you know just hype down this thing that the entire uh, written exam roadmap is very difficult or the exam for the nii institute is difficult it is not for anybody who has studied well enough for CSIR for that person, I'm telling you guys, the exam is not at all difficult. The only thing you want is to have a command over your life sciences subject, right? I myself, I had not prepared specially anything for this NII exam. The exams were like, like here in 2022. The exam in 2019 was also scheduled the same. That is in the month of I guess February the exam for NII was scheduled after that on 10th of on 24th of February there was NII exam and then on 10th of the March there was BRC exam and I was able to qualify both the exams why because I was preparing well not that uh, I was studying for this CSIR exam I actually qualified CSIR in 2018 only then I joined as a PhD fellow in PGI Lucknow and Along with this, simultaneously, I was looking for a better opportunity. Therefore, I gave these NII as well as BRC exam. So if I could qualify in that situation where I was doing, you know, research in a laboratory, <coughs> I had joined somewhere. You people have all the time. You people have a blessing in disguise, which is called the time which you are getting because of COVID. For other people who will watch it after COVID, like the post-COVID people, post-COVID students, you people also will have the same time which i had right so if i could qualify you people are lucky enough that you have time you can easily qualify the exam so theory is like ended La uh, let's 
go and let's just delve into the technicality of the paper that is the paper is con concerned with basically your life sciences phd admission but they ask general aptitude they ask chemistry they ask physics and they ask your life sciences which is like the normal thing if it's a life sciences exam of course they're going to ask life sciences right so in general aptitude <coughs> do not <coughs> study in a special manner i actually had gone through the 2017 mock test paper which is available on their website available on nii website or if at all you type down nii sample paper mock test paper then you will get the pdf otherwise you can message me you can dm me on instagram you can comment down here i will provide you the paper right summarize what i have talked till now that is the entire uh mock test paper or the entire entrance paper for nii phd concerned is concerned with general aptitude physics chemistry as well as life sciences right so it's my earnest request guys please do not study separately for nii like just don't take out the big big books like uh, for general aptitude for physics chemistry just don't do that just do one thing download the paper download the sample paper and in make a column in your copy in one side write the number of question and on the other side just write whether it was from chemistry physics or general aptitude so i have done this for you like in inset i'll mention all the things like the question paper which is available on the website as i talked to you was of 2017 so from 2017 i'll write it down i am so sorry that i don't remember the 2019 paper although i remember the topics like the vague topics but i don't remember uh, like uh, uh like more specifically i don't remember but i vaguely remember so that i'll be talking further in detail and uh, you just watch this one pdf you are pause the video write down in a copy and it is again my request that make a separate copy for your phd interviews and your phd written exams make two separate copies or otherwise just take a4 sheets but you should have something dedicated to your other exam such that your brain is you know uh, in an alert position that this is concerned with nii only right so coming back to the question paper during my time uh, like when i gave the exam in 2019 uh, i watched one video from priyank singh bhi you can watch his video he is a doctorate like he has completed his doctorate from national institute of immunology he is currently outside india so you can check out his video his uh, channel name is being scientist and there he clearly mentioned that if it is a institute if it is an institute of immunology that doesn't mean that it will only as from immunology but during my time it happened it asked majorly from immunology right but what he wanted to say was that in this you know nii deals with a lot of topics a lot of sub topics while conducting research that is they conduct research in cell signaling and diseases in bioinformatics in you know what is that a structural uh, structural like biology like synthetic biology kind of things so he wanted to say that just don't uh, study immunology again i want to repeat the same thing in my own sentences that is just do not start reading from the qb so do not take any authentic book for this thing if you have studied enough uh, the immunology section for your csr exam well enough that is like that is i think more than sufficient right so uh, either you can read it from pathfinder or your own notes like the uh, syllabus must be something which you should always have by your side and uh, just tick down uh, all the sub topics which are written in the syllabus of csir and from that you complete your immunology about life sciences i am going to quote other topics which you can you know read one is immunology the most important cell biology cell biology Uh, in cell biology sub topics like cell signaling cancer and also apoptosis all these topics are very important right also this uh, protein sorting thing biochemistry biochemistry immunology they make a damn weird combination that if they last question so uh, sometimes it can come the question can be framed in a manner that there is some you know concept of immuno along with the concept of blended with the concept of biochemistry so biochemistry is again very important fundamental processes do not ever leave it when i was looking for this uh, mock test paper you'll find that there are total 60 questions in the mock test paper and the second last or the third last question concerned with 
repair system so from fundamental process which is if i say in other words the unit of molecular biology just don't heed the unit of molecular biology just read replication transcription translation repair mechanism post translational modification and all the silencing mechanisms they are essentially important for your exam right genetics do not leave the numericals of genetics all the hot topics i always repeat that cell bio biochem molecular biology this immunology thing and i don't think they ask from plant physio because it's not at all concerned with plants so they don't ask but at the same time you should have a little little you know idea of your csi syllabus if you are uh, at the same level that you will give your csi in january if it if at all it happens or in like the upcoming months so you are preparing for your csi then have an idea about plant physiology and they will not ask about ecology evolution that i can say for sure like i can take the guarantee for it but uh, uh, just read all those units which i took to you and you can watch other videos many people have told you uh, the mode of entrance for it uh, people will say that just uh, you know go through tfr tifr papers and you know read for tifr papers and take an idea that what nii will ask yeah it's a good uh, like strategy you can download all the tifr papers last 10 to 20 years of tifr papers you will get physics chemistry biology physics chemistry and mathematics questions from there you can discuss but what i have done for you guys is i have shortlisted i have you know i myself have noted down all the physics as well as chemistry topics for that i'll be using a paper so please pardon me because i cannot remember all these uh, like uh, they were all something concerned with uh, this rectification process and i could not rectify these many uh, words these many concepts so i can tell those you know technical terms or those sub topics from physics as well as chemistry for uh, this nii exam also for general aptitude i have done that so we'll begin for this general aptitude physics as well as chemistry so what i have noted from different subjects i have wrote write down here in this paper on this paper so you just have to listen or you can also note it down right for general aptitude i the first question was from calendar like the question of like in that year the day was so and so so after these many years what will be the day so the calendar question which you guys know basic perimeter area question question was from square or rectangle right and the third one is number series question that is basically 3 5 7 9 then what comes after 9 so number series question not that it was very simple it was a complex question but again questions from number series uh, one question was from permutation combination of alphabets right so uh, from say for example they have given us a five uh, Uh, alphabet word and they have asked you how many word how many you know different words can you form from it so one from this permutation of alphabets i will also mention it in bold letters which i'm talking to you but also you can listen to it and you yourself can write it down right then there was a question from log, log table so you can natural logarithms and then there was a question from percentage so profit and loss you study from my side like uh, just start reading profit and loss basic formulas you should know what is the perimeter area volume uh, formulas and uh, what else uh, basic geometry questions some series questions so all this just from general aptitude only read these many topics right so let's jump to physics from physics there was a question in uh, resistance that is when you know resistors are uh, in series or when resistors are in parallel so what is the difference what's the difference which comes so there were different values which were given to you and you had to calculate the resistance and then question was from speed from laws of motion from momentum so for all those you have to study this motion chapter that is which concerns with the your laws of motion the formulas associated with it and so and so forth right so motion and then optics optics you have to read from 10th class so optics i don't know by which name it was there so you have to read optics do not read the 12th class optics it was basic uh, so or 10th class will do work fine here and then question was from sound and uh, scattering diffraction polarization interference so basically optics uh, right reflection diffraction you have to read these concepts now jumping down to next one that is chemistry so for chemistry matter in its states what is the orbital configuration what do you call it orbital orbital right so orbital configurations 
Wundt's rule, basic conversion of degree Celsius to Kelvin or Kelvin to degree Celsius. This formula I have mentioned in my telegram channel. You can also check there. Where will you find the link? You'll find the link in my Instagram page, right? So, and then from chemistry, again, inert elements. What are the inert elements and what will be the hybridization for inert elements? And uh, for the compounds which are made from inert elements, of course, isoelectronic ions, what are isotopes, isobars, isotones, you have to read these, these are basic things, shapes and hybridization, that is you have to jump to the chapter called as coordination chemistry of uh, 12th class book and read this chapter from there and then the basic bonds like the single double and triple bond what are the hybridization laws of thermodynamics just have a little reading and little information about what the laws were hybridization as i told you earlier from organic part you can study about alcohols ethers carboxylic acids and then amides do not study the name reactions there's no need for them right so <coughs> also from my side i'm giving you some topics so this is miscellaneous you can study friction you can study electrostatic charges hybridization and bonds right or one more thing is there which i made a list for you guys uh -huh. yeah i made a list in life sciences for you guys right so you should study i have made some 12 uh, topics for you so i will mention them here i will write them here also you can write along with me one is cell bio molecular biology repair specifically development biology please have a little idea about it it should not happen that in an exam you are in the exam you are thinking that why have i left this uh, unit right so read development biology immunology for sure biochemistry for sure plant physiology only a little bit <coughs> animal physiology for sure again and it's an institute which is concerned with animal biotechnology microbiology diseases animal biotechnology bioenergetics molecular techniques which is again a very important topic and genetics right have a basic idea of microbiology in terms of diseases have a basic idea of vaccines because of the hot topic called as covid which is screwing our lives right so goddamn thing you have to study about covid vaccines what are the different structures of rna dna viruses what are these things right and please 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 go and you know download this paper of nii which is mentioned in their website and if at all i remember anything i will write down in the description box i'll write down here in this video or on my instagram page i will mention there as a post so that's it from my side this is manisha guys if you wanna no, but just uh, want these videos, want more of these videos, you can join my channel, you can subscribe to my channel, you can like this video if you think that my efforts are making or my efforts are contributing even if 0.5% in your life. So you can like this video as well as you can comment down what else do you want as a video and soon I'll be releasing this third part which is concerned with the interview guidance and how my interview was, right? I'll try to make it a little creative so that, you know, you think that uh, you can imagine that what is the atmosphere inside the interview room for all those students who are in their masters right so i'll take your leave thank you all the best keep studying and remain curious as always <laughs>